Welcome back to part two of today's lesson. All right, so now we're going to create the egg as well as an, another object or sprite that will detect when the egg touches the ground, okay? So join me as we continue programming our game. All right, come to the bottom right and go to sprite, okay? Now we're going to select the egg sprite of what, of what we will use. Okay, scroll down to E, look for E, and under E there's egg. Okay, select the egg. All right, we'll just leave the egg here for now. And we need to make another sprite. This sprite, we need to draw the sprite. So come here and then go to the paint option. Okay, paint. Click paint. Okay, select the rectangle option. All right, give it the color, any color you want. I'm choosing red. Okay, as well as red color. It's going to drag everything to the right side. Okay, you want to draw a rectangular box that is thin but long. Okay, all right. And if you can, stretch it all the way to the edge of the screen. Okay, select this and put it right in the middle. If you notice there is a cross in the middle of the screen, put it right in the center of the screen. Okay, great. Okay, now click back. To code and go back to the main screen. All right, now come back to the image area, the workspace. Drag the red color bar to below the feet of your boy Dorian. Okay, and leave it there. Okay, so this red bar here will detect when the egg uh, has touched the ground. Okay, all right, good. Okay, now let's program the egg. Okay. Click on the egg sprite at the bottom. Okay, once selected, we want to go to events, drag out when flag or go is clicked. Okay, next we want to scroll down a little bit and look for the forever block. Okay, the forever block is here. Put it in. All right. Now we just want to con we just want to make the egg drop from the top of the screen to the bottom of the screen. Okay, very simple. Go to motion and we will select change y okay what change y does is uh x is actually horizontal and y is actually vertical so we're going to change y by negative 10 positive 10 goes up negative 10 goes down okay let's give it a go negative 10 okay let's click on the green flag here all right so we can see the egg fall all the way down to the bottom and it's stuck at the bottom now. Okay, let's click stop and drag this egg up to the top again. Okay, let's click go. Okay, works. Great. Now if you notice the egg's a little bit on the far side, we want to change it to negative 5 instead of 10. Okay, and we also want to set the start position. Okay, now drag the egg to the top first. Okay, leave it there. And then if you look at the set, set Y button, sorry, I'll scroll up a bit so you can see, set Y button, it says it's set 160. If I move this egg lower, the value changes. Okay, so we want to start the egg from around this height here. Okay, so it says, says set Y to 168. Okay, put it, uh, put it here. Okay, sorry, put it in outside there. Yep outside the forever let's click go okay the egg falls down to the bottom great press stop if you press start again the egg will magically appear on the top it actually appears at set y to 168 great okay so now we want to code when the egg touches the ground it will magically appear on the top again okay all right let's do this we're going to use the repeat function under control Okay, here, repeat until, put it, just put it here. Okay, it says here, repeat until, and we need to use a sensing block, okay? Click on sensing, click on the first one, touching, put it in here. Okay, select, uh, sorry, this red block that I've done earlier, just give it a name. The name that we want to call it is called bottom, so you know what it is, okay? This red block here. Is bottom all right okay once you got the name selected let's go back to the egg again all right so here now we're doing repeat until touching this touching here we want to touch the yes the bottom block 
Okay, repeat this until it touches the bottom block. And then what do we want to do? We want to set it to go back up to the top again. Okay, so very simple. Just want to set this, remove this again, take the set Y and put it inside the forever loop. Okay, so what this is saying is when you press start, it will set the Y, to the egg to the top of the screen, and then it will repeat the change Y by negative 5. It will basically, the ball keep dropping all the way to the bottom. Once it touches the bottom, it will loop back up to the forever and then come to set Y, which is the top, and then drop all the way down to the bottom and then loop back to the top. Okay, let's give it a go. Okay, it's working. Just touches the bottom and then it will loop back up. All right. Okay, let's just make the egg look a bit more uh, like a, let's say animation to it. I'm going to set it to have um, the motion. We're going to let it at the turn 15 degrees. Okay, put it in here after the change y okay so it looks like the egg is going to rotate when it drops down all right okay all right so now we also want this change y not only to touch the bottom but as well to touch dorian okay so we're going to add in under operators we are going to add in the all function all means touching either the boy or touching the bottom. Okay, I'm sorry, my computer seems to be lagging every time I do uh, programming, so just bear with me. Okay, select this touching Dorian or or. The bottom it will go to the top okay so now if it touches darian here you look it will bounce to the top okay great it's working let me move that into the side and bam okay so we are halfway through this lesson now we are going to program what happens when you touch the boy okay let me go with the events sorry control you can use the if okay after it touches it, it will break off from this repeat loop and you will, you will use the touching Dorian option. Okay. If it touches, uh, touches Dorian. Dorian. Okay. We're just going to use the height function. Just going to hide the egg and we're going to make it appear on the top again shortly okay and the second option we're going to do the same thing again duplicate this and instead of touching dorian it's going to touch the bottom okay once it touched the bottom we are going to uh let me think we're going to drop this away we're going to change the costume okay egg costume because inside the egg there is a different costume there's a broken egg costume can you see the egg b okay to show it's broken okay so we are going to change this to egg b okay and then we're going to use under uh, events sorry not events under control that is a stop all we're going to put a stop all inside this so basically if it touches the bottom it will change the egg to the broken egg costume as well as end the whole thing okay if it touches dorian it will hide the egg and then it will loop back up and then you go right to the top okay let's have a look go okay the egg is dropping to the bottom notice that it starts with the broken egg so we need to start the when we start the thing it has to start with the proper egg so we put this before the forever loop okay set it to the egg a which is a standard egg okay let's give it a go normal egg dropping down broken okay great it's working now what happened if i move the boy there okay so the egg hits the hits him it's hidden and then it loops back up but there's no show okay so we're going to use a show button now 
scroll down here to show and put it right here right after this right before the set y it will show okay so the egg keeps appearing on the top okay okay drops the bottom it stops the game okay so now all we need to do now is to set the y location we want it to appear randomly on top here okay not just appear the same spot over and over again okay so now we're going to use the set y button okay set y sorry set x i'm sorry set x okay so we're going to put set x here okay we're going to pull this egg up to the top sorry and we're going to look at the egg if we put the egg on this corner what is the x coordinate minus 218 then we put it on this side um two 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 positive okay so let's just set it to between minus two two zero and positive two two zero okay all right so now this set x we're going to use a random operator okay go to operator use the pick random put it in set x all right set the value minus two two zero to positive two two zero this set x will set the x coordinate or the horizontal coordinate of the egg between 220 negative 220 and positive 220 so it appear anywhere in between the top space here okay so let's give it a go all right appears on the left side bam egg broken good here touch the thing oh let's collect the egg let's collect the egg okay it's working fine okay all right let the egg to the bottom okay that is the end of part two video we're going to come back shortly and we're going to finish the game we're going to give it a background we're going to do a few more scenarios and then the game's going to complete all right so stay tuned for the next video it's coming right up and then we're going to complete the game all right